2009 was the year that my volunteer group Growing for Green first planted fruit trees in our local park. The trees were pretty little, like babies really, and so we fussed over them. Weeding around them was a really big job. We also watered them twice a week to help them establish themselves. It was so gratifying to see our little trees grow stronger over their first season, but as they grew we understood that there was a lot of stuff we didn't know how to do, like pruning for instance. We knew fruit tree pruning was different than pruning native or ornamental trees. The problem was that we had no idea how to do it. So I took some time off from my outdoor duties and I called around to try and find a fruit tree expert in our city who could help us. I called gardening groups and environmental organizations and I still couldn't find anyone to help. Ah, but then early in 2010, I found Norm Herbert, an experienced orchardist who agreed to come and help us. Norm was the former orchard manager of E.D. Smith Farms in Ontario and he agreed to drive two hours to Toronto to teach us how to prune. Norm had taken care of literally thousands of fruit trees during his career. With all his experience, Norm would be the perfect person to teach us how to prune our young fruit trees. So I organized a pruning workshop in the early spring of 2010 and our volunteers and other fruit tree enthusiasts from around the city flocked to hear him speak. Now on the outside, Norm seems like one of the sweetest guys you will ever meet. He's charming, he's funny, he's smart, he'd make the perfect grandpa. So we trusted him with those sweet little trees that we had nurtured for almost a year. We just knew Norm's gentle touch would be just what our trees needed. And yet, once Norm's hand pruners came out, he turned into another man. He laughed and joked as he hacked away at our lovely young fruit trees, cutting them down to a fraction of their size. We gasped each time he clipped off entire branches. Literally, some of us were fighting back tears. It suddenly dawned on me that perhaps Norm Herbert was some sort of madman. Our protests and pleas for moderation did not slow him down at all. In fact, I think he kind of enjoyed watching our reactions. So what did that first fruit tree look like when Norm finished with it? I'm not kidding. That is what the tree looked like after Norm completed pruning it. And yet, by the end of the workshop, we learned and understood why Norm did what he did. In fact, for the rest of the workshop, he gave us the pruners and coached us as we sheared the remaining trees. I know what you're asking yourself. Why do we have to prune our fruit trees at all? After all, native trees do just fine without pruning most of the time. Maybe we should just let our trees do their thing as nature intended. Well, this is why. This young fruit tree in a school garden in New Brunswick needs a little tender loving care. The branches are sagging down and close to breaking. Excess energy that's being used to grow longer and longer branches should instead be focused on expanding the roots of the tree. Ultimately, we prune our trees annually because we want trees that are strong, stable, and productive. There are lots of benefits of pruning. Let's start with why pruning young and newly planted trees is great. Pruning young trees allows them to direct their energy into expanding their root system, making them strong and stable. Pruning stimulates growth so your young tree will grow faster. Pruning young trees helps you keep the mature size of your tree smaller, making it easier to prune, harvest, and spray when necessary. Once a tree is more mature, it's much harder to create a compact shape. It's easier to prune and shape a younger tree than a mature one as the branches are softer and thinner and the structure is not yet set. In the first three years, you create a fruit-friendly structure for your tree that will last a lifetime. So why is it important to prune older trees? 
Well, let's have a look at a few factors. With fewer branches, the tree can pour its energy into making existing branches stronger and into growing sweeter fruit. Correct pruning ensures that sunshine will reach every single branch equally. Correct pruning ensures good air circulation, therefore preventing the spread of disease in moist conditions. Well pruned trees look better and they're more likely to thrive. And pruning is an important way to prevent the spread of disease once it appears on the tree. So what became of Norm Herbert and the volunteers of the Ben Nobleman Park Community Orchard? Well, truth be told, by the end of the workshop, he had our total admiration. And in the following spring, we saw how these little trees grew and thrived as a result of his bold pruning techniques. We had Norm back for workshops again and again, and while he's since retired, Norm Herbert has a special place in the history of our orchard. In the next workshop, you'll learn more about what Norm taught us, about when you prune your trees, and how to create an ideal structure for supporting fruit production. In the meantime, happy growing, and I'll see you next time.